Major safety changes are coming to several railroad crossings. It's all in response to a crash between a train and a truck nearly eight months ago. The enhancements will be made at four crossings in Simi Valley and Moore Park. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal has details of the project. Amtrak passenger train 761 passed through the Moore Park station at 8.57 this morning, picking up passengers Ashley Taylor and Lance Mulgaston on its way to Santa Barbara. It's a nice option. Safety is definitely the priority. Minutes later, it's safely passed through this crossing just a half mile away, but Metrolink says it's not safe enough. We have more than 800 crossings that Metrolink traverses through the six county uh, system. It's imperative that each and every crossing receives this attention. Right now, only about half of them do. These gate arms at the Moore Park Avenue crossing meet only the minimum requirements. It's one of four in the Ventura County Rail Corridor that are set for upgrades. The locations are all in Moore Park and Simi Valley and will look like this upgraded crossing in Orange County. Wider with new vehicle exit gates, sidewalks, handrails, and automatic pedestrian gates. The improvements are designed to prevent tragedies like this from happening. Back in February, a Metrolink commuter train derailed after colliding with an abandoned produce truck in Oxnard. It's horrific. Yeah, it was terrible. And while this is a big step forward, some locations still need major upgrades. This crossing at 5th Street and Rice Avenue needs a much more in depth approach. Ventura County has not had the, the both local and state and, and federal funds to make those a reality. One of the deadliest collisions in Metrolink's history happened in Glendale in 2005. A train hit an SUV on the tracks, killing 11 people and injuring 177. It prompted officials to rethink crossings in LA and Orange County. Now it's Ventura County's turn to better keep passengers, drivers, and pedestrians safe. So in a few months, this crossing will look very different. Construction on it is expected to begin tomorrow with work on all four crossings expected to wrap up by the end of the year. Reporting here from Moore Park, Jasmine Veal, CBS 2 News.